Human evolution is anything but straightforward. It's a fascinating journey full of twists and turns, unlike many species that remain relatively unchanged over time. We humans have undergone dramatic transformations. Our family tree is full of wildly diverse ancestors, each one adding a unique chapter to our story. And yet, there are still many mysteries, missing links, that bridge the gap between us and, say, the first primates. These elusive ghost species have sparked endless debate among scientists, each new discovery shedding light on how they've shaped who we are today. It's a captivating puzzle that continues to intrigue and inspire us. Human evolution is full of missing links and ancestors that we don't know about to this date. The reality is that this is all a hypothesis, and we are not sure if there's a missing link in the lineage that never left, or if we haven't discovered any fossil evidence of this link. We might believe that a missing link exists, but the only way to prove it is with fossils. So that's a problem. Many scientists believe in this hypothesis due to the gap between DNA and fossilized evidence found over the years. Keeping this in mind, we could say that a ghost species is a human relative or ancestor that helped build the modern human DNA, but whose existence cannot be confirmed by fossils or physical evidence. Scientists theorize that this species interbred with early humans and other hominins, leaving genetic markers that suggest they were real. Genomic sequencing also suggests that a ghost species emerged at some unknown point in history due to mismatching human ancestors. After our ancestors moved from Africa to other parts of the world, we developed as a species, leaving behind other forms of homo or human-like species. This means that we could have mated with other waves of ancestors that evolved to suit their environments. Genomic studies and complex models of inheritance suggest that there was population mixing, which raises uncertainties related to what happened during our evolution. Even before the major migration from Africa, there were signs of interbreeding with different groups of humans that later created Homo erectus, which is what we are. Arctic humans are the focus of these studies, as they are the common denominator when scientists detect interbreeding. Ancient DNA from archaic Arctic fossils is often used as the main link in investigations, looking for traces of that same DNA in modern genomes. Researchers have done this with multiple Neanderthal and Denisovan genomes from as far back as 2,000 years ago. Despite extensive research, no one has been able to extract the full genetic history of ancient humans. The real discovery of ghost species with tangible facts began with the sequencing of Neanderthal DNA. In 2010, researchers found that some non-African populations shared about 2% of Neanderthal DNA indicating that interbreeding between Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens did happen. Later investigations suggested similar occurrences with other ancestors, like the Denisovans. The definitive proof is their DNA, present in the modern population. Other scientists found genetic sequences in modern humans that didn't match any previous samples of ancient DNA suggesting that another species of unknown hominins existed. In other words, ghost species were real. Ghost species have contributed to our DNA pool even if we cannot identify all those missing links. Our immune system and other important evolutionary genes exist inside us thanks to the ghost species that are part of our ancient family tree. We mentioned the Neanderthal and the Denisovans earlier. But now we need to explain them further. Both Neanderthals and Denisovans are ancient human species and are among the oldest in our evolutionary chain. The interbreeding between these species is the oldest case we know so far with physical proof. Without ghost species, our genetic diversity would be very limited. Thanks to interbreeding, modern humans have a deeper pool of advantages. Our immune systems benefited from this interbreeding, and other advantages came with it. By interbreeding, we gained extra adaptability, allowing us to face a larger pool of unique environments. One example is our height and the ability to store more or less fat depending on our location. Our skin pigmentation, metabolism, 
and other crucial evolutionary factors were affected by this too. We often inherited traits that allowed further survival depending on our location and needs. The Denisovans were identified from a few teeth and bones found in a cave in Siberia. We mention this particular ancestor because at some point this was a missing link. Denisovan DNA was found in 5% of the populations of Papua New Guinea and Australia. This inheritance helped this population evolve further, giving them greater height and the ability to adapt to the Tibetan environment. The influence of this ancestor can be traced even further. The modern immune system of the people of that particular population has unique biological functions. Thanks to this, the population of this area has better traits that guarantee their survival. Eurasia is full of missing links, but there is traceable evidence of these thanks to fossils. In Africa, research on ghost species is more complicated due to the lack of fossilized evidence and other physical traces of DNA. Modern African populations have genetic sequences that cannot be traced and don't match any known human ancestors. This suggests that the original Homo erectus in this area interbred with an unidentified hominin. It is thanks to these species that this population could survive in this environment and later travel. Studies identified a significant portion of DNA in West Africa that comes from another unknown source. Scientists believe that this archaic hominin is key to understanding human evolution, explaining how many tribes could thrive in harsh environments and later travel and partially survive. This could be another ghost species that allowed further evolution in the African population, which over time helped develop Homo erectus. Ghost species have had a huge influence on modern humans. This has changed how scientists view human evolution, making them think that it wasn't a linear process. Genetic evidence points out how much interaction and interbreeding were necessary to develop as species and reach the stage of Homo sapiens. Each genetic contribution helped us develop into an improved human population. Hundreds of other species can be used as examples of how interbreeding was a tool that helped human evolution. Interbreeding is a common occurrence and a recurring factor that played an important role in the development of early species, including human populations. Genetic exchange provided crucial adaptive factors that gave us advantages, allowing us to survive, evolve, travel, and create tools for further survival. The genetic component behind interbreeding also gave us extra abilities and defenses that we wouldn't have naturally. As our knowledge of genetics expands, we're uncovering more about the mysterious ghost species and their influence on human evolution. Cutting-edge DNA technology is revealing hidden sequences in our own genomes, showing us just how these ancient species have shaped the humans we are today. By delving into our past, we can make strides in fields like genetics with real-world benefits. Though still a hypothesis, many scientists are convinced that ghost species not only existed, but played a crucial role in our evolutionary journey. While physical fossils are scarce, the imprints they left in our DNA serve as undeniable evidence of their impact. As we forge ahead in the biological sciences, we may eventually unlock the secrets of what truly makes us human. What do you think about the genetic impact of ghost species on modern humans? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more.